market. Look at the market. This is the road leading to the market. Nobody is coming. You see it? This is the road leading to the market. We are talking about we are talking about a market that have over 3 million shops present. We are talking about a market that have over 3 million shops. Out of the 3 million, nobody. Nobody. This is the 30th of May. The bia oh my, oh my. I am seeing something on that building. It is Biafran flag. Can you beat that? Biafran flag hang on buildings. People are no more scared about Biafra. This is what they want. You see the road. I will get down to the expressway. I will get down to the expressway. The gate there is open. The gate there is open. But nobody is coming. You can't go and pull people out of their house. No, you can't do that. Nobody can do that. Nobody can do that. The gate is completely open. And everywhere is standstill. People are not coming. People are not coming. Nobody wants to do buying and selling today. Unlike before. Even on Christmas days, here used to be very busy. On Christmas days, here used to be very busy. We call today Biafran Heroes Day, and it is a seat at home. And everybody is observing that. Everybody is observing that. It is six minutes after seven, Biafran time, here. Look at the gates. This is the Enimba side of Ariara International Market. The gate is open. You can see that. The gate is open. But nobody is coming in. Nobody is coming in. Nobody is coming in. I told you I was going to be, I'm going to be live on ground to report this event. Look at the gate, it's open. Nobody is coming in. You cannot go to the house to pull people out to come and do buying and selling today. They said what they want is Biafra and they are standing down for Biafra today. The gate of Arara International Market is open. I am talking about the Port Harcourt Expressway sector of it. It's very open for people to come in, but nobody is coming in. Look at the Enimba part of Ariaria. Normally, on a normal day, this place used to be a very busy area. On a normal day, this place used to be a very busy area. But today, look at what is happening. No movement. Everywhere stands still. Abba is standing still for Biafran heroes. For the first time since 50 years, for the first time since after the war, the whole Biafra land, I am sure other people will observe what we are observing here today. The whole Biafra land is standing still for this movement. I must tell you, look at the road. Nobody is forcing anybody, nobody is molesting anybody. Everywhere is peaceful and calm, as if nobody is living in Abba. I told you yesterday, Abba is going to be a shadow of itself. By this time last year, I was in Mpo, facing bullets, seeing my brothers falling down, dying in cold blood. By this time last year, by this time last year, I was running helter skelter for my dear life. But today, everybody is standing still for this particular cause, Pat Yetme. Unlike before, this is the first of its kind. I must tell you, you look at what I was telling you. I told you everybody is standing still. This is a building. This is a residential building. You can see that flag hanged on it. I am telling you, people are out for it. Nobody is forcing anybody. People are out for it. You can't pull anybody out from his house to come and do business, you cannot do that. It is people's decision. We are called the indigenous people. This is the first time Nigerian government will know that power belongs to the people, not to God. Power does not belong to God. It belongs to the people. And right now, the people are exercising their power. You see, this is the busy Enyimba market. By this time, here is filled up. On a normal day, by this time, this place is bubbling. This place is bubbling. By this time, on a normal day, 
this place is bubbling. But today, everybody, <laughs> people are not even remembering their shops today. They are only remembering the heroes that have died for this particular cause. Yeah. I'm at the express, you know. 